Kang Seo Jo was one of the most notorious femme fatales in history, who served as a concubine to King In Zhuo of Chusan. She was born as an illegitimate daughter of a military officer and faced unfavorable treatment from a young age. She was initially sent to the palace as a lady in waiting by the queen's brother in law in order to solidify the queen's position. However, upon entering the palace, Consul Zhou quickly captivated King In Zhou's attention and overnight became his favorite consort, resulting in a rapid change in her rank. This caused the deputy commander of the Imperial Guards to protest because Consul Zhou had not gone through the proper selection process to enter the palace. Despite the opposition, the king's favor towards Consul Zhou led to the dismissal of the protest. Seven years later, Consul Zhou gave birth to Princess Qiongmiang. Due to her favored position, King Ying Zhuo showered the princess with affection and rewarded her generously. People within the palace even compare her status to that of a legitimate princess. Following the birth of the princess, Consul Zhou was granted the title Shu Wan, and a year later, she was promoted to Zhao Wan. Two years later, she gave birth to two sons, further elevating her status as she became the queen consort. Just three months before King Injo's death, Consul Zhou was once again promoted, this time to the position of noble consort. During King Injo's times as the crown prince, his first wife was Lady Han, who became Queen Inyue, upon King Injo's succession to the throne. Queen Inyue gave birth to six children, but only three of them survived to elderhood, as the others passed away at a young age. Tragically, in the 13th year of Injo's reign, Queen Inyo's sixth son also died shortly after birth. Overwhelmed by grief, the queen fell ill with a fever and passed away four days later. According to the record of royal tombs, Queen Inyuan's was known for her gentle and modest nature, leading a simple life. She treated the concubines with generosity, fostering a harmonious atmosphere within the palace during her reign. However, Consul Zhou's true nature began to reveal itself following Queen Inyuan's demise. In the 16th year of King Ying Zhou's reign, Queen Changyue was chosen as the new queen. At the time of their marriage, King Ying Zhou was 44 years old, while Queen Changyue was only 15. Her young age made it challenging for her to navigate the complex dynamics with Consul Zhou, who was in her 30s. King Ying Zhou continuously favored Consul Zhou and rarely visited the queen's chambers. Eventually, Queen Changyue fell ill with a mysterious illness. By the time of her passing, she had not born any children. In the 21st year of Injo's reign, two ladies-in-waiting in the concubine's quarters were executed. They were accused of cursing Consul Zhou. It was said that Consul Zhou had conspired against a higher-ranking concubine, Lady Li, resulting in the unfair execution of her and her attendants. According to historical records, Consul Zhou's behavior in the palace became increasingly arrogant as she gained favor. She adamantly refused to tolerate any competition for the king's attention. Consul Zhou held a hatred for the family of Crown Prince Suo Yuan, particularly the Crown Princess Minghui. She consistently slandered them in front of the king, fabricating false accusations against them. Tragically, the crown prince later passed away. The crown princess held suspicion that Consul Zhou was responsible for her husband's poisoning, but she lacked concrete evidence. In a twisted turn of event, Consul Zhou accused the crown princess of attempting to poison King In Zhu, ultimately leading to the princess's execution. Consul Zhou's influence corrupted and oppressed the entire court. Their account suggested that Consul Zhou even plotted against the next crown prince, Yi Ho. On one occasion, when the crown prince personally prepared a dish, Consul Zhou intervened and urged the king not to eat it, suggesting that it was poisoned. The crown prince was afraid of being accused, so he consumed the entire dish. He even prostrated himself before King Injo for an extended period of time to dispel any suspicion. 
In 1649, King Injo passed away, and Crown Prince Yi Ho succeeded him as the new ruler, King Chujong. With the change in leadership, Consul Zhou's position in the palace became increasingly precarious. Seeking to overthrow the regime and dispose King Chujong in favor of her own son, Consul Zhou conspired with her son-in-law. Together, they plotted to establish Consul Zhou's son as the new king. To achieve their goals, Consul Zhou instructed her trusted court lady to engage in witchcraft against King Chujong and the queen. Unfortunately for them, their plans were eventually exposed. As a result of her actions, Consul Zhou's noble title was stripped. Her children were exiled as punishment. Her mother, who was also involved in the conspiracy, passed away before she could face the consequences of her actions. As the mastermind, Consul Zhou certainly could not escape death. In the end, she was sentenced to death by poisoning.